So I just added something to y'all's job description without you knowing. Is that all right? Huh? I'm sure. <laughs> y'all gonna be YouTube people now. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. I uh, sold my Ford Demo turf wares and we replaced them with two brand new XLs. That's basically how it comes, all nice and wrapped up in a cool package. So we're gonna do unboxing. Uh, I ordered these with the GCI Turf Spray Boom. So, whew, the holes already come drilled in the frame. So all we gotta do is slap that thing on and, and plug in the fittings to where it's plumbed. And then we're also gonna install uh, a new filling system for these machines that uh, I've been using on mine for a while now. And uh, if, if, if you're anything like me in, in and efficiency is crucial, meaning not, I'm not trying to be fast, I'm going to be efficient. Efficient and fast are two different things. Fast you can and be fast. Efficient is doing something as quickly and correctly and as high quality within a set given amount of time as you can. So I'm maximizing that time and because typically we'll take a spray truck, they're sitting down there We'll take whatever we have them calibrated at is half gallon per thousand. We'll mix a half gallon per thousand solution in the tank on the spray truck. And then we'll either gravity feed it into the tank with a one inch hose or uh, don't want to y'all pump it like from the pump using the hose into. So that's slow as crap, if you're asking me. And I'm just, I'm tired of it being slow. So I'm, I'm going to be a little bit more efficient with it. And this filling system, uh, I don't bet, but if I were a bet, man I bet you a hundred dollars that there's nothing on the market as fast as this uh, it's an expensive system not gonna lie it's a little bit pricey it's an investment you have to make in your company but if you look at how many times you fill this thing up during the course of a day during the course of a week during the course of a month during the course of a year times however many spray technicians you got or times yourself if you're solo you sit down and do some math on that and and you the difference is crazy how much money you actually save and not to mention it makes the job way 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 easier on the guys so um we're going to we're going to open this thing up put the boom on then we're going to install that uh all this stuff is linked up in the description below you know it's gci turf pro i'm i'm trying to offer all this stuff uh, to lawn care companies and uh it'll, it'll be down there if you want to check it out well jacob i reckon since you're uh you got the seniority here you get to pick which one you want left or right left left fine which your left and my left <laughs> my right so this is jacob so we'll we'll find somewhere on the machine and mark it hey, I'm gonna pick out one. you're gonna pick this one <laughs> so tim's gonna pick this one okay so uh so y'all cut it up it's y'all stuff y'all cut it open <laughs> So on the website, I think I've got this noted uh, for turfware specifically, but if I don't, the Z-Spray option is the one that fits the turfware. And of course, uh, they don't make them just for turfware. Z-Spray Permagreen Steel Green and the Z-Spray application fits the turfware. Uh, but I think on the website I got it to where it says this is for the turfware, but it, it, when you get it, it'll come in a Z-Spray box, so don't be alarmed. All your stuff comes in here, like so, and uh, that's gonna mount just like that right there. Now you will have to drill your two holes. Now we got, like I said, we got the spray booms with this so the the holes come drilled from the factory and so in this case this would go on first then the spray boom would go on uh on top of this uh you don't want this on the outside of the spray boom bracket because it's going to kick it at a little bit of an angle because of the length but the spray boom itself it's not really going to matter now we're putting the spray boom and the the fuel system on, pull it, extend that out. The fuel system on at the same time 
Uh, of course, if you don't have to get spray boom, then you don't need that. All right, go and run yours in on your side first. So something else I had to do, uh, if, if, if you run the boom and the fuel system at the same time, I have to come right here on this lip and cut straight out and cut straight down because the boom mount comes in contact with this. So I just need to cut that little piece of uh, steel out. That way I only have a flat plate on that side. Now that slides behind there like that. Then all you gotta do is line up the holes. It's got a sandwich. Bingo, there it goes. Get a nut on the back side. There is a hole back here on the back we need to mark. And I, I want the hole perfect, so I want all this tight as if it will be. Then we'll mark the hole. Then we have to take these, we can just take this uh, couple of nuts loose and this will slide, hang down out of the way. Then we'll drill a hole in the frame, bolt it up, and then it's, it, this is the hardest part. Once you get past this, it's a breeze. So there's a second hole right back in here. And you'll come right back here, mark it. And then we'll drill that hole out and then put a bolt that comes with, you know, this whole uh, filling system comes with all the hardware that you need. Uh, so it's the bigger bolt um, that comes in the pack. Matter of fact, on the uh, website, on my website, I will link the the installation video from the manufacturer. That way you'll have that video and this one to look at in case this is something you get. All right, so word of warning, uh, the stainless steel on this turfware is absolutely hard as a dang rock. It was quite a, quite a bit harder than a rock. So it took me a while to get this hole drilled. Tim, you're gonna get that bolt right there back in there. That's kind of what your assembly looks like right there. And on the back of the cutoff valves, uh, you need to take these nuts off right quick. I'm gonna take these off and I'll jump back on here and show you what it looks like. All right, so you take those two bolts out of the bottom of the uh, cutoff valve. And this little bracket is gonna go, actually it goes toward the front. Then you're gonna stick the bolts back in like that. Put the nuts back on and tighten this down. All right, what you don't want to do is tighten up your fittings too much because that that pulls the overall uh, unit in too much so that the holes don't line up. So make sure you don't over tighten those. Put your nut on like that. Run it through the hole like that. Put your little pipe dope on and then screw this quick pop it on again don't don't go crazy with it don't tighten it down too much that's good right there all that's good and snug this will go through the hole then take your nut screw the nut down might reach around it yeah then you're going to take a one of the little bolts washer and that's what's going to hold this firm to the plate and then get these tightened down then we'll go into the hose and you can see this is a float valve in here that goes inside the tank so as it fills up it shuts off the flow so you never overfill your uh your tank which is incredibly wonderful that's great so this is the big turf wear i'm actually going to install one of these on my small uh, sprayer as well to show you how to do that but it's somewhere right around in here is where that's going to go and the way i determine that is i'll go and stick it down in the tank I'll go and stick it down in the tank and kind of hold it and eyeball it where I want it to be. And basically you just need enough room to clear all of this right here. That's all I'm, all I'm looking for is enough flat spot to clear that. So that's going to go about right there. I'm going to mark it with my finger. Like 
like so. Come right in here with a hole saw and drill out my hole where I want it. Before you drill this, make sure you're right. Then we'll take, take the nut off. Go down in here like that. Press it right up through. Make sure it's good and snug, flush against the inside of the tank. Screw that on and pretty much get that good and hand tight. And that should be good enough. Mm. So once you get that part installed, you want to come in and put your little pipe dope around these threads or some Teflon tape. Whichever one you want to use. Like that. Go ahead and install the straight nipple on the other elbow. And this screws right on to the top. Just like that. Bring it around. That wheel need to be facing toward the front of the machine. Like that. So what it looks like down inside the tank is it's got a little float valve right there that when it pushes up from the water, that's what shuts everything off. Once you get all that installed, then basically you install your one inch line that actually comes with uh, the kit and it just kind of goes right into these two cutoff valves right here. And if you have dual tanks, you can feel one or the other, or if you're putting the same material in them, you open both of them up, fill them both up at the same time. Next thing is the pump. And of course it comes with this mounting bracket that you can pretty much mount it anywhere you want to. Uh, we bent these tabs out flat so that we could run a bolt in each side. And then we've got an anchor bolt here. And then we've got one over here. And then of course your suction is here. Your discharge is here. Of course all the hardware and you know all that kind of stuff, the hose, everything comes with a kit. We're going to be using this middle tank, which is 250 gallons for a nurse tank. And we have a drain valve for that right over here. So I put the suction side of the refill system going to the drain valve right here. That way I can cut it on and off. Now the wiring system, super simple fuse. You just plug it into the leader here. And what we did was follow the suction line right here put a little tie strap every so often and the battery of the azuzu is under the bed so we can just quick clamp it they come with these nice quick clamps right there so just clamp it on and when you get done with it uh, what we're going to do is take a piece of velcro pull pull the excess up ball it up and take a piece of velcro and velcro it to that drain line right there that way it don't fly off going down the road and then on the other side of the pump is your discharge that runs all the way over to what's called a dry poppet valve that's called a dry poppet and these things are incredible you put it right there give it a little push and it clicks in now what's amazing with this is uh it's super neat not only is it efficient uh, just pop on pop off. It's super neat too when you pull it off you pull this collar back And it pops off and look Zero spillage. I mean if something does come out. It's like minor minor. So that's uh, That's a big deal right there. Not only you know safety wise, so you're not dropping chemical wherever it could go but also for uh, you're not wasting any product so you'll have to figure out the tank part I'm just showing you the refill system uh, we use the actual spray tank or the back tank on the truck because uh, productivity wise five fill-ups uh, 250 gallons there and these are 52 gallon uh, setup right here uh, so that's five fill-ups roughly and that's that's a good productive day for us So if you don't have a spray system on your truck You just have to figure out what tank do you want to use and then plumb it into that tank. It's really simple uh, 
we chose to do it this way and that way we can use the pump uh, and the agitation system that's already in place to agitate the material before we load while we're loading you know prior to loading you know whatever sometimes that stuff settles out and you just want to agitate it before you go into your sprayer i do want to say that uh, over the winter uh, I've, I've went on some sprayer spreader groups and kind of gotten some input of hey what's the ideal size of a nurse a dedicated refill nurse tank most folks are saying 150 200 gallons so over winter i'm going to be developing and and making a dedicated nurse tank fill up system for these machines and of course not just turfware z spray uh steel green permagreen any of them toro x mark whatever any of them it'll work with all of them but it would fit in the bed of a pickup truck or on a flatbed truck so uh, i'm gonna be hot and heavy on that this winter getting that ready going into next spring so uh, everything's hooked up and you know your technician would simply pull up beside the truck get out hook up the power wires uh, of course open your two valves right there pop that thing in your agitation over here is going or whatever so i got my stopwatch right here this turfware is 52 gallons uh total 26 and 26 so let's do a live count meaning i'm not going to edit any of this we're just going to stop watch it and see how long it takes to fill it up up to about right here already and we're at 50 seconds these are really big tanks on uh, 50 some gallons that's a lot but the, the benefit of having bigger tanks is you can go down at higher volume or you can cover more ground at lower volume. Pick one. Minute and 20 seconds. Minute 20. And we're almost at the halfway point, roughly. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You know, a lot. I know. I mean, heck, I made my own setups forever, uh, and you can certainly do this cheaper uh, by kind of making your own. But this is such a professional grade product. I mean, it's just everything's nice and clean. All this metal's been fabricated uh, in the United States, I might add, and it's just such a clean, neat setup. And it makes everything nice and neat, professional looking, and just super fast. All right, so we're at 14, 14, it's 28 gallons. Two minutes and 20 seconds. Hey, uh, Jacob, or somebody, can y'all run down and help, get, help her get unloaded? It don't matter where you put it, just set it, set it on a pallet or something like that, it don't matter. You need to sign something, just sign whatever. All right, so we're really getting up here now. 18 and 18. Now, one thing I, I like about it is filling them up at about the same rate. Of course, if you have one hose that's a little bit shorter than the other one, obviously that one's gonna fill up a little bit quicker and the hose going over to this side over here, it's just a pinch uh, longer. So it's actually filling up just a little bit quicker, but not, not by much. All right, this side's just about ready to fill up. That one's right behind it. 
Now, you want to be ready, okay? You want to be sitting over here ready, finger on the trigger. When this thing builds up back pressure, when you, when you feel it, the pump is working against the push, but it ain't got nowhere to push the material. Listen. You want to cut it off and stop the stopwatch. Let's double check, make sure we're full. Full, full. I think that's full. Let me hit it one more time. That's full. You can you can audibly hear the, the pump go under strain because those two check valves or two float valves have closed and shut it off to where there's nowhere else, nowhere else for the liquid to go. So you make sure you cut this off immediately. You don't want to put any extra strain or nothing like that on the machine, on the pump. So there you go, three minutes and 41 seconds. Let me make sure you can see this somehow. The dang shadows. Can you see that? Look at there. 341. That is the most fastest. Not most fastest. That's not the way you say that. That is the fastest, most efficient way to fill up one of these machines. I, I'm telling you, I've done it all kind of ways not not to mention fastest and efficient most efficient it is the easiest way i mean all i have to do is open a couple valves plug the power up and pop now here's good right here watch this watch this all right we just filled up and look boop look at that nothing no leakage no nothing of course then you set this up here make sure you fasten that down because when you're riding in the road you don't want it dragging the road or anything like that so uh, you know, I'll say it again. I think this setup is the single fastest, most efficient, easiest, cleanest, neatest, most professional looking system on the market. Hands down, there's nothing, there's nothing out there that'll, that'll compete with it. So, uh, I'm, I'm absolutely in love with these things. I've had one on my machine for quite a while now and we just outfitted both of our new turf wares with this complete setup and just think about the technician i mean how easy that is no more standing at the back of the tank mixing crap up taking a chance on spilling something on ms rosie's yard uh no more no more any of that stuff no more having to fight big ho hoses or whatever you, you know you name it I've done it all and it's no more of that. It's simple and easy now because all I do is just click it in and fill the machine up. So uh, I'm enjoying showing you pro guys. Uh, you know, some of you already may know this stuff and you may already have it on you and that's hats off to you. You're doing the right thing in my opinion. Uh, but some of you guys are looking for a super fast, super efficient way, this is it. Um, of course, like I said, it works with turfware. The Z-Spray mount works with turfware. It works with Z-Spray, Steel Green, Permagreen. I think that's the ones that, that they make it available for. So uh, I'm enjoying showing you this stuff on the pro side. Uh, hopefully it helps people become more efficient and you, you can grow your business, grow your company. And of course, uh, I'm taking the time out of my day to show you this. I'm also getting all this stuff set up to have it on our website so that we can offer it. It's a lot of back end work to that that nobody ever sees. So a lot of time goes into this just to be able to show you something like this so what I'm getting at is uh, I'm supporting your business uh, honor the source and you support mine that's what I'm getting at so um, I hope this helps uh, we love them I can't wait for the guys to use them they're just gonna go nuts over it and uh, I like making the job as easy as I can for them. Uh, you know because it's hot and it's yucky outside you know, if you can make it easier why not so as always I appreciate you taking time out of day to watch I'll check you later